y'all, we're going to make a hamburger biscuit casserole. So what I have here is two pounds of ground beef that we are going to fry up. And you're going to need one packet of the onion mushroom or onion soup mix. A few dashes of the Worcestershire sauce. And that's what we're going to need to begin our casserole. If you're having trouble seeing the video, go ahead and tap the video. Lightly tap it again. In the bottom right hand corner, there will be two arrows going in opposite directions. If you click on that, it will make your video larger. The comments will then appear. If you want to take the comments off, in the left hand corner of the bottom, there will be the word comments and there's an arrow. If you tap that once or twice, it will take your comments away. So let's go ahead and add a few dashes of Worcestershire to this. And then we're going to add our soup mix of your choice. And we're going to go ahead and dump that in there. And we're going to go ahead and fry this up. Alright y'all, so this is coming together. Now I want to let everybody know I did use a lean ground beef. If you use more of a fattier ground beef, just make sure that you drain some of that um, fat out of there before you go to use it, or it'll just be too greasy. So you're also going to need two cans of biscuits, some butter, and some garlic powder. So we're going to take one of these biscuits, and we're going to spray a 9 by 13 baking dish, and we're going to layer these on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to turn the heat off, and we're going to set this to the side, and we're going to get our biscuits in the bottom of our casserole. Alright y'all, so you want to take your baking dish and you just want to go ahead and coat the bottom with some cooking spray. And then you want to take your biscuit and you want to spread them out, okay, and you're going to go ahead and place it in the bottom of your pan and you're going to do that with one whole packet of biscuits. Okay, put that in there. Also, let's continue spreading them out and you want to get them kind of close together. Okay, and then we're going to put our ground beef on top of these biscuits. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the rest of these in here. So if you have the little space in the middle, just take your biscuit, cut it in half, and we're going to put them in between the biscuits there. And push them to the side. Okay. And that will work. Now we're going to put our beef on top of here. So you're just going to take your ground beef and you're going to layer it across your biscuits okay. you want to make sure all your biscuits are covered even if it gets along the side of the biscuit it's not going to be a big deal so just make sure everything is covered right, y'all so once you get all your meat on top of your biscuits you want one and a half cups of cheddar shred it. You can use any kind of cheese you want, but I'm using cheddar. So shake it over your meat. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we are going to add some more biscuits on top. So now we're going to take our other can of biscuits and we're going to do the same thing to the top of this one. We're going to go ahead and spread them out and layer them on the top. And it doesn't matter what kind of biscuits that you use. You can use the butter, the home style. It doesn't matter. As long as you get them all covered. Alright. Put that one on there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish getting the rest of these on here. And we're going to go to the next step. Alright y'all, so we got them on the top here. So now you're going to need four tablespoons of melted butter, and then you're going to need one teaspoon of garlic powder, and we're going to mix this together, and we're going to brush this on top of the biscuits. Okay. 
And this is going to go in 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. So they're going to be like little burgers, little cheeseburgers. You can add whatever toppings you want inside of there. If you want to put a little bit of jalapenos or something like that, that's completely up to you. This is something quick and easy and not many ingredients. Okay, so that's done. Go ahead and dump that in there. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this in the oven and we'll be back here in a few minutes. Yeah, while we're waiting for my oven to preheat, I want to let everybody know we do have cookbooks available for purchase. I'll put a link above and below in the comments for those of you who want to purchase those. It's 212 family recipes. Also, I have a giveaway for a Weeby knife that ends on Valentine's Day. So make sure you go and enter that before that um, drawing is, and that's like on Valentine's Day. So if you have a deer hunter or a trapper, um, it's a skinning knife. So... Um, whoever you want to give it to it, or you're a hunter, you know, gift it to yourself. So just make sure you go ahead and enter that. And you may want to check them out on Facebook. Make sure you follow um, the instructions on that giveaway so you can make sure that you're entered to win. So again, we'll see you back here in 35 minutes. All right, y'all, it's all done. It's been in there for 30 minutes. This is what it looks like. You can just cut it like a burger, and you can pick it up like a burger. Okay, and you can put your toppings on there if you want ketchup, mustard, whatever you want, like you would eat a cheeseburger, but on a biscuit. And it's a casserole, super simple and easy. Give this a try. If you have any questions, feel free to get in contact with us. And I hope everybody has a wonderful afternoon.